hello everyone welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video we are going to do the sentiment analysis which is a form of text classification so first we are going to build a model using create ml and after that we are going to import this model into our xcode and using core ml we will be able to classify text as either positive negative or neutral for testing purposes we are going to use a csv file that contains a list of tweets so let's see how it's done so first we are going to launch create ml and in that we are going to uh, basically create a project for text classification after that we are going to give it a name and a certain description then we are going to select our data which is basically tweets.csv file and as you can see that it has given us an error that says there is no label field inside your input data so we are going to basically rename the field that with the name of sentiment as label inside our numbers application since we have opened tweets.csv with numbers application. So the issue with the numbers application is that once we edit a file using numbers application it will be saved as dot numbers extension. So uh, I'm not quite sure will uh, create ml be able to handle this extension so we want to basically stay on the dot csv file. So what I have done is basically I am now editing the file using terminal and as you can see that I am going to make the change since CSV file is pretty much like a normal text file. So I am going to change the header from sentiment to label and then I am going to save the file. So follow all these steps and update your tweets.csv file. So you can see that it is showing us three classes and 27,000 plus uh, tweets and then there are certain algorithms that you can select from the drop down and after that I'm going to press the play button and the training will start and you can see that it has trained with a training accuracy of around 98% but the validation accuracy is not that good but we can type different strings and see that how well it's classifying the data so i've tried open another csv here and it is taking a lot of time so basically you can just type in the strings and then uh, press the enter to see that how the sentiment is calculated here So the next step is basically once you are satisfied with the performance of the uh, model you are going to export it. So I have exported the model as sentiment analyzer and then later I have imported it into my Xcode project. There are certain imports that you need to do first is basically import Swift UI and then import code ML. Then we are going to basically start writing our content view in which we are going to create two variables a user input 
which will help us to get a string from the user which we can then input to our model for sentiment analysis and then there is another variable with the name of label prediction so we are going to see that how it is going to output the um, our emoji which will basically a unicode string then there is uh, our var body some view in it we are going to basically create a v stack which will just display a simple title and then there will be another v stack that will contain your text field in which user can input it, his or her string and after that there will be a button which will basically says perform analysis so let's see how the ui will look like once we write the complete code In content view, we are writing a function with the name of analyze button tabbed, which will basically load the model into our variable model. And the try uh, sentiment anal analyzer is basically the name of our model. After that, we are going to create an input with it. Then we are going to create an output, which will use this model and this input. And once we have the output, we are going to access its label. And when we are going to check either it's negative, positive or neutral. So uh, we are going to display it in the form of an emoji and which will basically be set inside the label prediction. So I have copied the Unicode of emoji from a website that I'm going to paste its link in the description box. So uh, create this function and call it inside the button click.
here i am adjusting the ui of the content view by moving some of the elements uh, outside the bracket and adding some of the elements to basically make the ui more presentable so once i have written all the code i am going to press the play button and as you can see that we are going to enter different strings and we are going to press the button perform analysis and then the sentiment will be visible inside the emoji on the bottom of the screen so you can see that some of the strings are uh, classified pretty good but some are not classified that good so basically this is due to the lag in the accuracy value so as we move closer to 100 percent it will be like a good indicator that our model is performing really well so this is all so how we can improve the data or the model that we have created so we can add the further data to improve the accuracy of the model also we can do is basically we can classify a text field as a precise emotion like it's annoyed it's frustrating it's happy it's excited so basically the level of a positivity and negativity in a tweet or in a simple statement also we can uh, there are certain models th uh, that we can build to basically uh, check the abuse level in a comment because it is a lot of issue inside the social media that there is so much abuse and the different uh, platforms have their own mechanism to filter those comments but some of the comments can basically pass through the filters so we can create such models as well that will be quite helpful and uh, so this is all i hope you have liked this video do not forget to share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i will create one or two videos in this series uh, for further learning machine learning inside ios and after that i'm going to switch to um, a sample app development in ios uh, so let's see how it unfolds thanks for watching